Hey, friend. Chris Vandeviver here from WhyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. You know, last week we dug into whether or not you should save your Logic projects and other assorted files to an external hard drive. And we walked through, you know, the different hard drive types and why it might be a good fit for you and why it might not be a necessary fit for you. And today I want to dig into the other side of that question, which is how do you save your instruments, your sounds, your loops, your samples to that external hard drive? This is certainly a case-by-case situation. We're going to focus in on how to move your sound library content that comes with Logic to that external hard drive. But at the end of this video, we'll dig into some third-party options like Arturia's V Collection and also Native Instruments Complete Collection as well. Okay, number one, how do you save Logic Sound Library to an external hard drive? Super simple. I just want to be absolutely clear that we're going to move sound library content, not plugins, not Logic Pro. A lot of folks brought up the question many times prior to last week's video, but after last week's video, hey, Chris, where should I be running Logic Pro off of? And I'm pretty sure I said in like three times in that video, Logic Pro is going to live on your Max hard drive. And I did not see this in the last video. Your plugins also should live on your Max hard drive. I mean, there's an entire folder dedicated. There's several folders dedicated to plugins. And if we just go to our finder, go up to go, hold option, go down to the library. And then if we go to this library folder right here, go to audio and go down to plugins, components as Logic uses AU components. And this is where all your plugins are going to live. This is really the best place for them to live. You shouldn't move them to an external hard drive because then Logic doesn't know where to look for your plugins. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, to move Logic Sound Library, super simple. You would just go up to Logic Pro, you go down to Sound Library, and we're going to relocate Sound Library. And then you get this menu where Logic's going to analyze any hard drives that are connected to your Mac and then determine what available hard drives there are to save the sound library content. Now, there's a couple caveats here. Number one, you cannot save your sound library to any external hard drive that is also housing Time Machine backups. You just can't do it. So make sure that you pick an external hard drive that does not have Time Machine already living on it. As you can see, my G Drive USB here is available and we can just hit relocate. One other caveat in this is that you have to make sure to download the essential sounds and instruments for Logic Pro and MainStage before you can relocate and then save the different sounds to that external hard drive. As you can see, I have everything installed on my Mac, but especially essential sounds. You got to make sure to install that. Once it's installed, you can then go to relocate, relocate it to that external hard drive, hit relocate. And once it's saved and everything's been moved, any logic content that you download from here on out from the sound library will be saved to that external hard drive, which means you don't have to go through this process again and again every time you decide to download the different sounds. You just relocate the essential sounds once and you're good to go. Forevermore Logic will save to that external hard drive. It's also worth pointing out that there are certain sounds within the sound library that are not going to be moved regardless of what you've relocated. And that is Apple Loops. They're going to live on your Max hard drive, the internal one, no matter what. Impulse Responses, which is the file types that Space Designer uses to supply us with different sounds and reverbs. And third-party instruments will not be moved as well. That's the case-by-case scenario. So you would have to go into Native Access for Native Instruments or Arturia Software Center and go through the process of moving those, which we'll examine later in this video. The other caveat is you cannot share an external hard drive with the Logic Sound Library between multiple Mac systems. So let's say you have two Macs that each have Logic Pro. And you want to move the sound library content to an external hard drive so you can share between the two Macs. Unfortunately, you cannot do this. Each Mac system that's running Logic has to relocate its own specific library to a specific external hard drive. So that means I would have to have a second external hard drive for my MacBook. So for my iMac here, I could use this G Drive USB. But for my MacBook, I would have to find another external hard drive, which I have plenty of. And I would have to specify that one for the MacBook. Each Mac needs its own external hard drive for housing its own sound library content. I have to admit, not the best system in my opinion, but, you know, they're probably protecting files, whatever the case may be. Also, you might have to provide logic access to your external hard drive when you go through this process. And to do that, you just go up to the Apple, go down to System Preferences, 
go to security and privacy, and then you make sure to unlock your system. So I'll just type in my password here. And then we go down to full disk access, and you want to make sure to give Logic Pro full disk access. Once you're done with that, you, you know, you just enable, disable, just do that later, re-enable, cool. And then hit the lock to lock it back up and you're good to go. And you should be all set to allow Logic to have access to your external hard drive. And lastly, let's say you've moved all of the sound library content to that external hard drive and then you decide later, you know what? I'd just rather have it back on my Mac system. This is just kind of a pain to have it on an external system. Well, that's super easy. You just go to Logic Pro, Sound Library, back to Relocate. And then from the drop down here, your Mac HD will be enabled because we've moved it from the Mac HD to an external drive, which means that the Mac HD will now be available to relocate back to. And you can see this is an all or nothing sort of situation. You can't just say, oh, I want the keyboards to be moved to my external hard drive, but I want to keep everything else on my Mac system. No, you have to move all of the sounds or none of the sounds. Now for third-party instruments, again, it's a case-by-case -case situation. We're going to take a look at Arturia's software center and it's going to load up for a second. And then we're going to dig right into the preferences. And Arturia makes it very, very simple to relocate the content. It's just like Logic. It's all or nothing. If we go to preferences, we go to folders. Right here, we have a resources, and this is where all of the Arturia content is located. And if we click on browse, we now get a warning dialog that says you are about to change your resource folder location. Would you like to move the existing resources into that new folder? And depending on your setup, it may take up to an hour. So this is great. We can just hit OK and we can move everything to the external hard drive. And forevermore, Arturia will just refer to the external hard drive. Now that's super simple. We're just going to hit no. I'm going to quit out of this. Now if we go into native access and take a look at natives, different instruments that I have on my system, the way to move these, if we go up here to the little profile, preferences. Now if we take a look at the different location types, we have three to choose from. We have download location, probably safe to just keep it as downloads. Application location, which is some of the various instruments. You could relocate those to your external hard drive and even content location. So these are other instruments or samples. So these two, you're probably going to relocate. But if we change the location, if we hit browse, we can go down here, set it to this hard drive and hit open. But that's just going to change the location for any instruments I download from native access from now into the future. It's not going to move everything that already exists on my system to that new hard drive. And for that, we got to click on this link setting install locations actually have it open right here and this is how to you know change the install location but we can see here in blue there's an article if you want to move existing native instruments products to a different place you gotta read this article and this is a little less friendly than arturia or even logic whereas we have to go one by one and move each instrument each sound to that external hard drive you gotta locate them it's just not as friendly if we take a look, we'll just cancel out of this. I've already gone ahead, open the finder, go to my hard drive. I've set up a folder called Native Instruments. I've moved Absynth to this external hard drive. And you can see here that Absynth needs some repairing because I moved it and now Native Access needs to know where did Absynth go. And it's really not super difficult. If we just go back to the finder, we open Applications. And if we go looking for Native Instruments here, so you just take this folder like battery and you drag it to the external hard drive. And then you just have to repair and let native access know where that instrument went. So we go to browse, go here, go to native instruments, absinthe, open. And now it's been relocated. But not all of the instruments from native instruments lives in that native instruments folder in your applications. So if we go down to some of the piano sounds here, choose this one grandeur and then we go to installation path we can see that it's users shared the grandeur library so now if we go to our finder once again we're going to hold option click go go down the library and then we're going to go find that shared folder and right here there's a whole bunch of stuff living in this folder in the shared section and if we take a look at the grandeur this is the library for that instrument so we would move that to the external hard drive in this folder that I've set up. 
And once again, you would see the repair icon and you would have to relocate where that instrument is since it's no longer in the shared folder on your Mac. So really, that's it in a nutshell. For Logic, you just go Logic Sound Library. Make sure to download the essential content. And then once it's downloaded, you can relocate to that external hard drive. And forevermore, every sound you download within Logic will be relocated to that external hard drive. And it needs that external hard drive if you plan on using any of those instruments. So make sure it's plugged into your Mac. Otherwise, you might need to download it to your Mac so you can use those instruments. And for third-party content, Arturia makes it super simple. Native Instruments, a little less simple. And it all depends on your third-party instrument. I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, as always, I highly recommend subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week, I'm posting new videos, new emails, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Thanks so much.